will talk about pressure in our life ok pressure I am not talking about your studies pressure ok children we are talking about the general pressure in life. So, pressure in life ok we will divide the things into two ok here we need to have more area so less pressure. Okay, and here we will write less area and so more pressure. Okay. Now we'll quote the examples and then we'll just segregate that. Okay. So, the first one is what we have discussed the knife ok, knife oh I have written more area over here so I need to write over this side ok. So, knife has lesser area so that the things can be cut ok things can be cut. Now, we have discussed this thing now the second also we have discussed about the belts of the bag ok. So, just rub this belts of the bag are broader so that the pressure gets divided ok. Now, now in second example I will take about the hills ok. So, what exactly is happening ok, second your sandals ok. So, sharp I will write in just form sharp hills. So, what is happening children pressure is more ok pressure is more yes correct more pressure and less area and so pressure is more ok. Then we will talk about the leg of the camel. So, legs of the camel are broad ok. So, that it does not get penetrated easily ok. Na? So, it does not get penetrated in soil into the soil ok. Then next example I can take so the same thing so I would not write it now ok. Now next example we can take about the buildings base ok. Just imagine if the buildings base is very thin if the base of the building building is very sharp ok. Uh, just the whole building weight is just you no know, given or uh, basically depends upon the two pillars. What will happen? The more pressure when the building's pressure will be there on the particular those pillars only, those pillars will automatically either it will break or will penetrate into the uh, like surface of the earth, it will start going inside, isn't it? So, when we talk about the base of the building. So, the base of the building has to be what? It has to be broad ok. So, this one is what? Less pressure. So, base of the buildings are broader 
okay please understand why the base okay why the base of the buildings are very broader so that less pressure will be there okay then where the pressure is going it is getting spreaded okay it is not the case children that the pressure will reduce pressure will get spread okay it is not the case that pressure will go somewhere else so it will be there itself but as it is it will be spreaded on the larger area it will become easier to uh, you know to uh, keep the building safe okay now we'll talk about the next example okay now push pins push pins again we need to have more pressure push pins or board pins whatever you call okay board pins this has to be very sharp so that they go inside very easily okay now next one you know porter the one which carries our luggage okay on the railway stations so that porter if you might have observed he what he does he take a cloth he wrote, roll it and then keep it on the head and then on that he keeps our luggage why is it so children because he want to increase the area okay now suppose this is the head and he keeps the bag here only okay so what will happen this on this particular part only it is getting touched and so the whole pressure will come on his head whole pressure will come see later also the pressure will be there only head only it won't go anywhere but the larger area of head okay now what is happening if i am talking about when a porter porter is a person who carries the luggage okay when i am talking about a porter he carries a luggage and what he does he just remove his one uh, cloth sort of a thing and he uh, roll it and keep it on the head okay why he does so because if he do not do so okay then the whole like suitcases and whatever luggage it penetrates it comes only on the small part of our head okay our head nahi sorry his head okay but when he makes a turban okay turban will be this big okay it he makes it very big okay and so what will happen the whole pressure will get distributed on the larger area in this whole pressure topic you just keep this two things in your mind less area more pressure more area less pressure you will be sorted isn't it so porter uh, do we want the porter to be more pressurized no even the porter doesn't want to keep you know more pressure on his head so porter keeps turban okay to reduce the pressure why because the area will increase okay so the pressure will be less now now after this you might have seen the there is no need to say about you might have seen you all have seen you all have seen trucks okay so just compare the tires of the trucks with the tires of your own cars okay just compare the tires the difference in the tires of the trucks cars uh, your two wheelers and even then bicycles okay the we the wheels the tires of the uh, bicycles are very very uh, like the area is very less isn't it why because we don't have to carry the whole you know like so much of burden on the uh, bicycle just you can it can be you your friend in one bag or something like that isn't it then then when we talk about the two wheelers its own weight is more isn't it and then we can keep more luggage on two wheelers so again the tires are broader okay the two wheelers tires are broader 
टू व्हीलर साइकिल्स आल्सो टू व्हीलर बट जस्ट ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट एक्टिवाज एंड स्कूटीज एंड ऑल दिस थिंग सो द टायर्स आर ब्रॉडर देन द टायर्स ऑफ द व्हाट बाइसिकल्स ओके नाउ थर्ड थिंग व्हेन यू कंपेयर द टायर्स ऑफ द कार विद द प्रायर वंस ओके द स्कूटर और द साइकिल अगेन द कार टायर्स आर मोर ब्रॉडर व्हाई बिकॉज नाउ what the more person is will be sitting inside more pressure will be there so that pressure should get divided okay that pressure should be you know uh, evenly distributed and so the tires are again strong and uh, it is what broader now you talk about the tires of the trucks you might have seen some trucks have only you know uh, eight or something i don't know exact number children but some trucks have lesser tires okay and some tra- trucks of trollers which you call you know long trollers are there some long trollers are there which have you know large number of uh, wheels why because first of all why it is more broader why the tires here are more broader than the tires of the car children because the luggage the pressure which will which will be there in the truck will be just double double of that of the car isn't it so much so many things this a truck carries if just imagine the truck is carrying the sand the sack of sand so many so many sack of the sand will be there and just imagine the weight of the truck so if you uh, try to keep the thinner or the lesser the one which is not so broad that tire so what will happen the tire will get burst because it doesn't have so much of capacity to bear the pressure of the truck isn't it so what is the scenario the truck's tires are broader so the the weight get distributed the pressure get distributed isn't it evenly and so the what is there the tires are broader Okay, now I'm talking about the trollers, which has got more number of tires even than the normal truck has got, because again the pressure is more, the amount of luggage which has to be there has is more, and so again the tires are also more and they are more broader. So again less pressure. So I will write over here. Tires of the trucks. are more broader now you will complete this because i don't have place over here to write now the fourth one now uh, if you take if you take the example of the railway tracks okay railway tracks are there okay and but these tracks are attached to the wooden planks okay please uh, whenever you go now please observe it properly the tracks are there but it is again is these are attached to the wooden plank why these are attached to the wooden plank children again if the tra- the only tracks are there only that rail is there so what will happen when the train will move okay so much of weight just imagine i don't have to say anything i cannot even compare it with any vehicle so so much of weight will be passing on and on okay contain continuation Uh, in on the regular basis then what will happen children that um, that uh, track will have will be penetrating into the surface of the earth that track will be going inside the surface of the earth isn't it so uh, it may uh, give any kind of mishapening it may give uh, rise to the accidents and uh, the use of the uh, track will be also obstructed it won't be used properly so always these tracks are supported by the wooden plank okay these tracks are supported by the wooden plank and so when the train moves on that okay when the train moves on that the the uh, track doesn't goes inside okay the track doesn't goes inside and the rail can uh, the train can move safely okay so again the here the same thing it will come here now there is no place so i am not writing children so these all are the examples i have divided 
the area and the pressure into two categories okay first category where the area is more because we have kept that why because we want the pressure to be spreaded evenly and we want less pressure and second is what second is the case where the less area is there because we want pressure over there we want the things to uh, go inside isn't it now i'll uh, just have a quick look belts of the bags are broader so that the pressure gets divided okay because the belts should not give mark on your shoulders it should not be very painful to carry your bags isn't it so it is broader then legs of the camel are broad so that it should not go inside it should not penetrate inside into the soil okay then base of the buildings are broader okay because of the base of the buildings are penetrating okay they are sharp then they won't be able to carry they they won't be able to bear the weight of the building and obviously it will go inside and it will be a dreadful situation dangerous situation for the whole building children then uh, where i was here okay base of the buildings with this we have done now porter children porter is the one which carries the uh, luggage okay so he always tie up a turban on the uh, head why does he tie up the uh, why does he tie up the turban on the head children so that the pressure of the luggage can be divided and can be distributed evenly isn't it now the next one is tires just now i have explained enough about the tires so i don't feel like you know that uh, uh, like there is any problem in this now less area and more pressure so here knife has lesser area this also we have explained we have discussed enough because the pressure here should be more because we want the knife to be penetrated isn't it and then second thing sandals if the sandals are very very sharp so what will happen you will be able to walk properly in the soil or the sand you won't be able to walk properly on the sand and the soil children and the next one is push pins just imagine if you are pushing the pins ulta okay so what will happen it will come in your hand itself and it will be on your in your thumb one more thing children when we push the push thing why don't we why don't we push with the palm okay this is our push pin we always push the push pin with the help of the thumb hai na why don't we push the push pins with the help of the whole hand palm because area is what more pressure applied will be less we need to apply more pressure so if we do like this it won't be able to go inside and so when we press it with the thumb ha huh? so what will happen whole our pressure will penetrate on the thumb and it will come and will pressurize the pin and so pin will be going inside properly okay so this was all about the pressure now we'll talk about the next topic okay so now we have studied about the pressure and now we will talk about like how pressure can be measured okay and does pressure exist in liquids and gases that will have a look upon okay just uh, think uh, like when you fill air in the balloon okay when you fill air in the balloon it gets stretched okay and if you keep on doing that if you keep on putting air keep on adding air what will happen the balloon will burst isn't it that means air gas also exerts pressure isn't it that means gas is also exerting pressure same if you take the example of balloon itself if you take a balloon and if you fill air into that okay uh, if you are filling i am so sorry air we have done if you feel uh, if you feel see just have a look at my pronunciation not feel it's fill okay if you fill the water into that then what will happen children the um, the, the size will increase isn't it the size of the balloon will increase and if you keep on doing it again it will get burst isn't it so these two activities 
what these two activities proves these two activities proves that even the liquid okay exerts pressure and even the gas exerts pressure isn't it so in both the cases what the fluids what is the meaning of fluid children generally the liquid and the gases all together are called as fluids isn't it so both liquids and gases that means fluids they also exert pressure isn't it so now just we'll talk about uh, like uh, the pressure in liquids okay okay so first of all we'll talk about pressure in liquids now children pressure in liquids depend upon which conditions pressure on liquids depends upon which kind of situations okay how does it works so you know when the pressure is when we talk about the pressure in liquids okay so we'll just i'll try to explain you with help the help of few uh, experiments so first of all if we talk about the first experiment if i take such pipe okay now this pipe is of 5 cm ha galti se lag gaya tha hello ha bhabhi galti se lag gaya tha phone hai na okay this pipe is of 5 cm breadth wise and 15 cm is the length okay now at the bottom if i attached one what a uh, stretchable kind of thing you know where the water can be filled okay so what we have done i have taken a column i have taken a tube which is of 5 cm around it's not that like we are we have to measure and taking just giving an example okay so it's little broader and quite good in length it is 15 cm okay then if i start filling water into this okay if i start filling water into this and if i filled i have filled this till here so do you think the water will go here okay so obviously water will go here okay and if i increase the level of water till here okay when i increase the level of water till here then what will happen children this water will be moving down and this will be stretched this membrane will be stretched okay why because water is going inside so why when i am filling the column to a greater height when i am filling the column to a greater height why the water has started coming into this what does this experiment prove this experiment prove children that the pressure okay the pressure which is exerted by the liquids okay the pressure which is exerted by the liquids at the bottom okay it depends upon the column that means the height okay the depth or the height okay of the column that means at the uh, like what is the pressure it will be decided or the height will be deciding or uh, making an you know important it will be an important factor uh, to decide the range of pressure okay so what is this children if i have taken a tube if a tube is taken which is all approx 5 cm uh, you know in width or uh, and uh, and length is 15 cm okay so this if i have put a i have i have added a stretch stretchable uh, you know uh, sort of a balloon or sort of a skin and if i have filled the water over here water will obviously come will come this side but if i increase the level of the water then what will happen the water level here will also increase what does this prove 
let us write about this pressure exerted ok this one pressure exerted by water at the bottom ok of the container depends upon the height of its column ok so what does it means pressure exerted by water at the bottom the pressure which is being like you know pressure which is there at the bottom ok it will depend in the simple language it will depend upon the height ok it will depend upon the height of that column if the, uh, if the water is filled till, like the height is more then the pressure at the bottom of the container will be more ok so this is very important and very first point when we talk about oh see my line so now I will try to draw a good line ok now this one was our first point we will talk about the second point ok now uh, what I want to now I want to prove the second point for this if I take a bottle ok a bislary bottle which is not in use and uh, any bottle ok any bottle which is not in use and if I make uh, you know holes at the same level ok the same height I mean to say at the same height if I make holes and if I fill the water I have made the holes and I have closed these holes ok then if I put, fill the water totally completely with the water and then if I open the holes if I open the holes ok I have, I have made the holes which are closed by cello tape or maybe something or iron or something and then when the bottle is filled totally and then I open the holes what I will see or what you will see or what will be the observation that at equal depth at equal depth at equal depth what will happen the pressure exerted will be same in all directions ok what is the main thing so what has to be written liquid exerts liquid exerts same pressure see this ok exerts same pressure at the same depth ok so what it is liquid exerts same it can be written as equal also children ok if you are not able to understand so liquid exerts equal pressure at the same depth that means if I have taken a what bottle where at the same here from here if I have taken 2 centimeter here also I will take 2 centimeter and here also I will take 2 centimeter ok I like it is measured and the holes are being done at the equal length and then these holes are covered by the nails water is filled up in this bottle and these nails are removed or the holes are again made open and then what will happen what you will see that water flows ok with the same pressure with all the holes it would not be the case that the hole which is the, you know pointing one direction may be east or west will be uh, taking out water with the greater force of pressure and the second 
for uh, hole will be take will be throwing water out with a lesser pressure more pressure it won't be the case children so it will be the release of water will be what it will be same uh, with the same force the water will be coming out with the same force if the holes are at same distance okay that means what does it prove that liquid exerts equal pressure at the same depth what is the first point pressure exerted by water at the bottom of the container depends upon the height of its column depends upon the height of its column that means if the liquid is filled here till here it won't exert more pressure but if liquid is filled here okay two conditions one condition is here that liquid is filled till here and second condition liquid is filled till here so in second condition the pressure exerted by liquid at the bottom of the container will be more are you getting it the second condition when the height of the uh, liquid filled in the container is more okay so this will exert more pressure than the situation number 1 this is point number 1 now point number 2 if the equal if we talk about the equal depth equal depth the pressure exerted by liquid will be equal okay now come to the third point now if i take again a bottle okay which is discarded and if i make a hole in the this wall okay and if i put a balloon over here now actually what i mean to prove is you know like liquid exerts pressure on the wall okay liquid exerts pressure on the wall so how does it how can be uh, how it can be proved so one bottle is taken and one rod is taken okay one pipe because the water has to come out from here so this pipe has been taken and with the you know heating a little part it will go inside the plastic and here we have attached a balloon now if this is filled with water obviously this is going to be filled okay what does it prove children that on the walls also the liquid also exert pressure so liquid exerts pressure on the walls okay so what is this point 